32. <laughs> That's okay. I feel like I'm 31. If you were to call out uh, who's the best skier at Highlands. Zach Mertz. <laughs> who's the best skier at Highlands? Skier and snowboard every day. I, I know that I'm not the best skier at Highlands. There's so many other good ski skiers out there. Eric Eiberg. It's very nice for him to call me the best skier at Highlands. Maybe if the way you classify best skier has put in the most time, <laughs> then maybe I'm the best skier if I put the most time in. But there's tricks that other kids can do that I can't do. Lean forward! Yeah! People always say as long as you're having fun, I and mean, that's all it matters. It really is. That's all. Just have fun. Well, I started skiing when I was four years old here in Minnesota. Started backyard with some plastic skis. Highland was the first place that I, you know, went down the hill and I was just this little teeny rat, no poles, full suit. And that was a, it was a long time ago, 28 years ago. <laughs> so I got into freestyle skiing as soon as I could leave the ground. I mean, we were making jumps some, from day one. I mean, Zach, right away, it was clear that he had some sort of sixth sense that he knew what was going on in the air different than anyone else. In the almost two decades that I've been watching him ski, I think I've seen him take a hard fall twice. I, t I tell you, I ran into Willie, and I think Willie's a really good skier. I mean, I look at him like he's, he's better than me now, and he's going to do some stuff. But then he goes, he was like, introduced me to his friend, and he's like, this is Mertz. He never falls. <laughs> Zach is crazy, he can do anything. In my whole life, I've only seen him fall once. He's the illest, he never falls. Uh, he's inspired me to just do a bunch of tricks. He always guinea pigs the uh, Nibora jump for us, so he's a big help out. He's pulling switch tens like it's nothing, just completely stomped. Just goes away and does it again. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how he does it, and 12, 13 years ago, we were interviewed by the Star Tribune, and I called him Zach the Cat. I'm surprised that that nickname ever stuck because he is a cat. Everyone that watches him ski will attest to that. He can be completely upside down, looking like there's no way he's gonna land, and then all of a sudden he just comes right back and sticks to landing, no matter how he is in the air. El Gato. His enthusiasm for the sport is exactly what we talk about with Nibora. He continues to push himself. He's not a young guy anymore. He's got to have some pretty uh, stressed out knees for all the years of freestyle skiing he's done and how many thousands and thousands of landings he's had on those set of knees. But he's always out here. He's always pumped. Sick! That was sick! He knows everyone out here. We're, we are really lucky to have him as part of our program. I guess when I was 16, that was pretty cool. When I was 16, I got second at uh, JOs, and that was a big deal because when you're 16, you're just like, wow, this is like the biggest thing in the world. But as I got older, I just wanted to, it was kind of a personal goal just to keep on getting top three. So it was uh, high school, college at University of Minnesota, and then I went to Utah on an exchange program so I could pay in-state tuition. But basically when I was looking at the map, I said, where's the closest mountain like most kids do and snowbird was close to utah so i went out to utah for a year i was roommates with eric eiberg it was great and then i had so much fun because i learned how to mountain ski that i went back there the next year and lived there for a half year and just skied and my dad said that you can do that as long as you go back to school he was really hard in school so i lived in an apartment and i worked at snowbird skied every day it was awesome I got to appreciate what mountain skiing is all about because when you're in the Midwest, you don't appreciate You can't die it. Well, you can hurt yourself in the park, but you can't fall off a cliff. So John Turkula and I, there's a favorite corner spot and we carved this huge ass jump. It took us eight hours to carve this jump out of it. And um, it was our favorite jumping spot. When you have like, 10 feet of powder landed to you do whatever you want, go as fast as you want. Also, when you're 20, you can, your body's not gonna break. If it breaks, you're gonna go to bed and wake up and you'll be fine the next day. <laughs> That's not a favorite memory of mine. I'm going down the hill with like this little kid 
and just like throws a backflip. I was like, ah, oh, that kid can throw a backflip. I gotta try a backflip. So I could thank Tanner Hall for pushing me to do a backflip. I got into uh, 3D modeling um, from architecture and hopefully one day do more 3D terrain park design because that's, that's always kind of fun. To... This is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little model that we did for Oakley. So the clients that we get to work with are pretty cool. Um, Oakley is, you know, a big name client and Disney's a big name client and Sony's a big name client. Kind of a goal of mine to see if I could get into X Games. I know that that ship has sailed, but if I could just get my models into X Games, that'd be awesome. That's my next goal. Doing a little, uh, little work break, parking at the parents' house. Gonna do a little park session at Highland. I uh, grew up in this neighborhood. You can always find a parking spot at your parents' house. And it's pretty nice when your parents live right in front of the ski hill. Cause then you never need to fight for parking. Let's go do some jumps and rails and have a good time. I think I can do a switch 10 as long as as long as I don't hurt. Look at look at these football players playing until they're 40, so I know I'm good until I'm at least from 40. Now skiing is uh, skiing is my getaway from just shutting everything off. One more, one more. The advice, I mean I saw a sign in the restaurant one time that said old is 15 years from now. Well, I'm 32. I think that I'm old, old compared to the 13 year old or 15 year old, but whatever. I mean, it's just a number. Just have fun with the tricks that you can do and don't be stupid. No point to do a double cork if you can't do a double cork. Hopefully I'll abide to that philosophy because I tried double cork last year. <laughs> Nothing else other than my knee. My daughter Madison will be a skier. I don't think she'll be a skier. Well, it's kind of tough. She could be rebellious and I could push her too hard. But she started when she was eight months, she can say. <laughs> you know, when I was little, they'd always be like, look at that little ripper. And a lot of these kids, they know what I mean. Because you feel kind of proud. You're like a little kid, like uh, Seamus is a you know, little ripper and Patty's a little ripper. But now I'm old and an old ripper. And it's cool to be an old ripper. I mean, kind of in the middle there, it's just like, you're just a ripper. It's just a personal goal of mine just to beat myself every year. I mean, kids are always gonna get better, but as long as I can do a better trick the next year, then that'd be a good year.
kids just want to be sponsored. And I would say, yeah, I'm sponsored by myself. 